When it comes to how they spend your tax dollars, Governor Cooper and the Republicans in the General Assembly do not agree very often. But tonight, CBS 17 digital reporter Jody McCrary digging deeper into why the governor is giving credit to the GOP for how fast they approve money for one particular program. It's called the HOPE program and it helps keep renters in their homes during the pandemic. This program is a national model and Republican leaders in the state legislature are already recognized this and are rushing more funds to it. Cooper isn't talking about state funds, but federal dollars appropriated by lawmakers. The Republicans may not necessarily agree with how the program is run, but it's essentially free money from Washington that had to be spent fast. A spokesman for House Speaker Tim Moore tells me, under federal rules, if the money didn't go out quickly, the state could lose access to it. He says the legislature acted immediately to keep those dollars in North Carolina. The program pays landlords and utilities directly. It started in October with over $100 million in federal stimulus money. Cooper says more than 35,000 families have benefited. Earlier this week, in his spending recommendations, nearly $600 million more million in federal relief money was set aside for it. But why did he call it a national model? Cooper spokesman Ford Porter says that's because Congress put together its $25 billion program after seeing how North Carolina's plan worked. But it's not perfect. More spokesman Joseph Kaiser says Republicans are concerned about inefficiency. What is the state doing to address those concerns? I went to program leaders with those questions, and you can find the answers in my story online at CBS17.com. For CBS 17 News, I'm Jody McCrary.